Okay, so we're gonna try playing this again. Boom. Just kidding. There we go. I'm sure you all can read the description of what this game is. I really like the style of gameplay because it just sort of, I think it fits the whole story since it's animation and, I don't know, fables, fairy tale. It works for me. And this came out before the whole let's make everything comic book style, so they're ahead of their time. Sound See, effects in this, this game are great. This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. I should probably go handle this. Time to be yes, a badass. Yes, please. Thank you. The little toad dude's my favorite in the whole game, that probably. Back inside. He's just so innocent, and I feel bad that he has to live with Mr. Toad. So if you can't tell over here, you can hear the telephone hanging off, so put it back up. Which I feel like that's just a little added detail that not many people would think about, so I enjoy that they 
put that in there. God damn you! No, I whoa, am whoa, not. whoa, hey, hey! You got something on your face. Fuck, are you talking about, you stupid girl? <clears throat> I'll fucking kill you! All right, if what you want to What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got That's a shit now. fucking memory hold. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. There's a bottle there, of course you have to hit him with. The glass shattering was really cool though. It's a nice sound. However, I do feel him when Woody runs into everything. The sounds are too similar for my liking. And I feel like they could have done a better job with that, but... I mean, it's decent. Let's go over here this time. Fight with a knife. more time. <laughs> the try catcher on the little axe. I don't know how that's connected to fairy tales, though. That confused me. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, you Language, sir. Fuck you on the ground. Hey, can't be nice. I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fuck it, you You broke my jaw, bastard. And still you talk. Fuck. Misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girl. Knock it off. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I ask you first. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. I started beating him. Then you showed up and started beating on him. Not about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman you call her. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Him hitting the pole was a little unrealistic with the whole ping sound, but, you know, whatever. I really like the voice of Big B. I think whoever the voice actor is does a really good job. It just fits so well with his character. Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. So, uh, how good is it? 
is your insurance. By the way, I apologize for the reverb. It's not normally like this. It's what I'm recording on. What are you doing? Just getting what he is. You all right back there? I don't know if you can hear it, but your eyes? It's a thing. If you ever end up playing this game, you will definitely hear that line a lot hey, from you everyone. Like of course I like your ribbon. to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city and the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. There's a sign back there and there's a cat and it says, there it is again, Pixel. Pixel the cat is lost, so if anybody finds them, let the makers of the game know. It's funny because you know pixel games. I never noticed it before, but I thought it was funny when I noticed it. Back in my office, then. It's a little late for an office. 
office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. You live in the smallest apartment in Woodlands. The hooker's swinging by a cop's apartment, because that's not suspicious. Do her eyes keep changing colors? Maybe it's just me. Hey, I need to tell you something. What is it? Pay attention. This is important. You're not as bad as everything says you are. I'll see you around. I highly recommend getting the game and playing through to find out why. I know the beginning of the game is a little slow, but once you get into it, it picks up really quickly and it doesn't really stop until the game ends, so. I like that part. I think the echo of this lighter is cool. Also, I think that the sound for this little intro part that has the credits is interesting because it reminds me of like Law and Order almost with the beginning. I don't know why except for the dun dun, but I don't know. I feel like it just fits the game and in certain parts it'll be in some of like the background music, so I like it. It's good to listen to because there's different, it changes so much that I don't just like space out. It keeps me locked in the game. That's part of why I like the game so much, I think, is because there's so many sounds. And if you look in the corner, it says Bullfinch Street, which I thought was funny because Bullfinch is a writer and it's a thing. Go inside. When playing through, you don't have to click on everything, but I'm assuming that most of you haven't played or probably will never play this game, so I thought I might as well just click on everything to see because I've played through before clicking everything. It takes a little bit longer, but you miss some stuff and you get points. I'm on out. All right, all right. too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Sure. Gotta go with beauty. That's one thing that bothered me, that the writers named her beauty instead of Belle. I will, but I have to go. Like, why can't you just... Belle? It's so much easier. You're trusting me. Really, I... I appreciate it. And maybe it's just me from not remembering stories, but I think Bigby is just a random name for a wolf. I don't know. But 
I mean, it suits him, I guess. Look around really quick. That guy's too lazy for my liking. Hmm, bored. Poor thing. Maybe he just scares people. Have you thought about that? That just says who lives there. And... Play through this last part and maybe call it quits. Since we're a little bit over 20. Well, maybe it's just me, but I feel like his voice is too feminine to be such a masculine character. I don't know. And here we are at home, our lovely apartment. And I think we'll call it quits, because after this it gets into the big point of the story, so. Got to exit. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a really fun game, and the sound, it, I think, is one of the best sounds, soundscapes for games I've heard in a while, so. If you haven't played it, I recommend it. It's on Steam. And... It's, it's a good game. Bye.